We're joined by James Bevan, Chief Investment Officer at CCLA Investment Management. Hi, James. You don't you own see, shares of m Are you feeling a little bit nervous today that you don't or not? No, I, I think that the retail sector has very much moved into a world where general sales are, are going to be very difficult, as indeed Marks and Spencer confirmed. Food sales, which obviously was Marks and Spencer's great salvation, have remained reasonably robust. And I think that propositions like Tesco and Sainsbury look very well placed. And I think that if one's going to talk about general merchandise, mm. one needs to think really very carefully about who's going to be able to control margins, who's going to be able to maintain volumes. And there I think one would be looking at the names like W.H. Smith and Next for, for choice. You do you cite a number of structural issues and you cite cyclical issues that are affecting the industry. Which Absolutely. ones should we be most aware of? Well, I think the first issue is what's happening to floor space. And it's very interesting that, that, Tess, uh, that Marks & Spencer is busy talking about growing its UK floor space by around two percentage points in the year ahead. But it's going to expand overseas again. And we know that Marks & Spencer has not always had a very good record at overseas expansion. Although it was Here they are talking about France, 10% more. Well, yes it was, but I think that the European climate is not going to be a very attractive place to be right now, so we'll need to put a little amber like that. I think what was really exciting about the Marks and Spencer results was this commitment to maintaining margins. Now, companies come to the table and said, look guys, costs are going to be up about five percentage points, and that's not good news, but we will take measures, and there are unspecified measures at present mm -hmm. to maintain margins. Now, actually, margins are really important in the retail climate right now, so I think that that's what the markets will focus on for the Moment. Strong internet catalogue business, you like Next and Brown, Tesco and Assos as well. Yeah, what, we, what we've seen through the recent retail downturn is that expensive floor space in the high street in particular is proving to be very difficult to manage and one sees a flow not into out of time but very much into the internet propositions and I think that's where the major margin enhancements will be made. How worried are you about the general UK economic outlook right now and its impact on the retail industry? Well for now I am very worried because it's very clear that the consumer is going to be increasingly under the cosh as a result of not just the, the fiscal restraints but also the probability that money rates will be rising over the year ahead and that is necessarily going to squeeze on the demand side. I think on the supply side it's very clear that the inflation pressure continue to feed through. I mean, after all, Marks and Spencer themselves saying that costs are going to be up by around five percentage points. If you don't actually have pricing control for your end sales, that's going to be a really big problem for containing margins. In light of all that, James, still equities are holding up pretty nicely, many would say. Still a good time to yeah, buy equities? I, I think there are some fabulous companies out there that are sustaining high returns on invested capital and, more importantly, growing margins on new capital invested. And I think that's where we should be looking. I mean, you look at some companies in the financial services sector, such as Capita. There you see a very positive cycle of cash flow, cash flow investment, growing company. James, thanks very much for joining us today. You. James Bevan there from CCLA.